Last month, I transferred myself into Madara and Obito. So now it's time for Uchiha Itachi. For this one, I'm gonna try something a bit different and probably harder than the rest. But before you see it, you have to understand Itachi's story a little bit. Itachi wiped out his clan, including his family, a long time ago, leaving only his little brother alive. Sasuke. But he never forgave him for it. Obviously. But then he dies. And then he comes back. And just before he dies again, he tells the truth to Sasuke. He didn't do what he did out of hatred, but out of love. And now Sasuke is finally able to forgive him. <laughs> So in this case, I'm gonna show the forgiveness moments, recreating a bunch of different shots from the past and present, trying to show the moment Itachi tells the truth to his brother. I know, the storyboard isn't looking very good, but you have to believe it will all make sense in the end. For the costumes, I'll start by doing the one Itachi was using when he sent his parents to the ninja heaven. Better be a comfortable one. To arrange the lights correctly, we need some equipment. They are very fragile, so we gotta be super careful with them. We like bolts. Thank you. This thing that I don't in English. To record this one, I basically just had to stay in a frog position and then rotate a little bit. This rotation don't make sense yet, but you understand it later. Then I started creating the new background, the birds, the moon, the Itachi appearance, but I wasn't feeling it, so I threw everything away and said, let's do it in 3D! Now I just had to recreate the rotation movement in 3D to make it look like the camera is moving, not me. Now it makes sense. Then the moon and clouds, and then the light pole, of course, in which I asked for help from Igor, a Brazilian friend, because I had to create four more scenes and I didn't have enough time. And finally, the birds. This one I had two options, or I create everything in 3D, which is gonna take time and maybe will not look good since I don't know how to animate birds, or I could just use a video of birds flying and put it on the scene. So I went to footage crate and searched flying birds. The first ones were literally perfect. Thanks production crate, not just for being awesome and cheap, but also for sponsoring this video. If it wasn't for them, I would probably just put something like this in the video. The site is great for VFX work and I really recommend you to check them out if you are interested in this kind of thing. And they also have a free plan if you wanna try it out. Link in the description. Scene 2 was Itachi with the same costume. Thank god. The moment he killed... <clears throat> you know, said bye bye to his parents. So, to help me with the picture, there was no one better than my mom. After that, I'll paint over each of the recorded scenes one by one, so it looks more like the anime and less like a low budget YouTube vlog. Mm hmm, something seems to be missing. Oh, yes. Well, in this part, we'll make the environment look 3D. This one is very interesting. Basically, what I'm gonna do is project the background of the image on the faces of a three dimensional cube, leaving the characters on the middle. This will create that This is basically it. No. To animate the hair, I'll use this tool that creates wave-like movement in anything we want, turbulent displays. And to make it look like he's breathing, I use a tool called Liquify, the one some people use to make them look stronger. Not me, of course. And then I would start his thorax, creating a second position, then combining with the first one and oscillating between the two. And the result is something like this. And that's good enough. The last scene with this costume, Itachi looking back, very sad. You already know the process. Hair distortion, background, paint over, computer big brain, production crate, and it's done. Finally, the last scene. Some professional makeup, expensive necklace, and a high-end unique costume. And then record with my professional acting skills. And then Sasuke. The same thing. Give me the Oscar! And for the editing part, you already got the idea. Background, put them side by side, wave movements for the hair, and finally, I just have to make the disintegration effect. But thanks to Thanos, I could just borrow some of that people does from my friends at ProductionCrate.com! Link in the description. And the VFX was basically done. Or, as I like to call it, good enough. Last day, finishing everything. I just made everything work together, some color grading, lens flare, and stuff like that. And I think it's done. And by the way, sorry for taking so long to finish the video. This last month was crazy. This glass door even collapsed at me. And I'm trying to improve my workflow and starting to get help from other people to make the videos faster and better. Hopefully. But for now, grab a tissue in case you cry and enjoy the final video. I'll show you the entire truth. The night I left you, 
I did everything Tarzo and Toby told you I did. And whatever you do from here on out, know this. No matter what, I will love you always.